That's a camel calmly munching on a cactus covered in menacing sharp needles that stretch up to six inches long, needles that would deter nearly any other creature. Yet the camel chews without hesitation, seemingly oblivious to the perilous spikes piercing through its meal. It's hard not to be amazed. How does this animal, with no visible discomfort, consume something so painful that would leave most animals injured? What unique biological defenses allow it to conquer such a treacherous plant? What evolutionary marvels have made camels so perfectly suited to this harsh, unforgiving diet? The mystery deepens when you consider that this isn't just survival, it's a testament to nature's astonishing design. How has this remarkable adaptation evolved to make the camel such a master of its harsh environment? There's something almost otherworldly in the way these creatures are built to thrive on the very plants that could easily wound others. Even more remarkable is how well they can survive in the toughest desert conditions. For hundreds of years, they've helped people and animals by providing important things like milk, meat, wool, and leather. They have the ability to walk effortlessly on sandy terrain, and despite their tireless work ethic, they can survive for days without food and water. But how can camels comfortably munch on cactus plants full of sharp spines instead of regular leaves? And why are they so perfectly suited for desert life? We'll explore these intriguing questions and more, so stay tuned until the end to discover the incredible secrets of this unique creature. Did you know that camels can munch on prickly cactus plants without feeling any pain? This incredible ability comes from unique biological adaptations. Their mouths are lined with tough, leathery bumps called papilla, which not only protect them from sharp spines, but also help guide the food safely down their throats. This allows camels to eat what most animals wouldn't even consider touching. These papilla not only allow camels to chew thorny plants like cacti, but also help them absorb essential moisture and nutrients in water-scarce environments. On top of that, a special enzyme in their saliva breaks down the cactus's toxic sap, protecting them from harm. But why do camels prefer cacti, even when leaves and grass are available? Well, in the harsh, arid desert, food is often difficult to find, and cacti, being water-storing plants, thrive in these dry conditions. For camels, they're a valuable source of both hydration and nourishment, making them an essential survival resource. Interestingly, camels aren't the only animals that can eat cacti. Other desert dwellers, such as tortoises, rabbits, sand cats, fennec foxes, and certain bird species, have also developed a tolerance for these spiny plants. However, none can match the camel's remarkable ability to consume cacti with such ease. Beyond their specialized papilla, camels boast a variety of fascinating physical traits that distinguish them from all other animals. One of the most fascinating features of camels is the red dulla. Male camels use this striking structure during mating season to attract females and establish dominance over other males. The dulla is a large balloon-like sac that males inflate from their mouths as part of their courtship display. While it may look dramatic, the dulla is completely harmless and retracts once the display is over. If you've ever seen a camel walk, you might have noticed something unusual about its movement. Unlike most four-legged animals, camels move both legs on one side of their body at the same time. This unique gait is known as pacing. It allows camels to move efficiently across the desert's uneven terrain, conserving energy as they navigate the harsh environment. This pacing gait also makes riding camels more comfortable for humans, offering a smoother journey, which is one reason camels have been used for thousands of years as reliable transport animals, particularly on sandy paths. Camels are also notorious for their spitting, which is actually more of a vomiting reflex than true spitting. They use this as a defensive mechanism, either to ward off threats or express frustration making it an effective signal to potential aggressors. 
Beyond their unique physical traits, camels are true champions of endurance. They thrive in harsh environments where water is scarce and temperatures fluctuate from scorching hot during the day to freezing cold at night. So how do they withstand such extreme conditions and stay hydrated while navigating endless sandstorms? Camels are remarkable examples of evolution, expertly adapted to survive in one of Earth's harshest environments, the desert. One of their most impressive abilities is going long periods without water. While humans can become dangerously dehydrated after just a few days, camels can endure for 10 to 14 days without drinking a drop. But when they do find water, they can consume up to 20 gallons in one sitting to replenish their reserves. Surprisingly, Camels can also drink salty water as a substitute for fresh water, enabling them to thrive even when clean water is hard to find. Given their hot environment, it's natural to wonder how camels cope with intense heat. Fortunately, they are masters of thermoregulation. Their thick fur not only shields them from the sun, but also helps keep their body temperature stable, regardless of the surrounding heat. Additionally, Camels can endure extreme cold, making them one of the few animals capable of thriving in diverse habitats. Sandstorms are a common and potentially deadly threat in the deserts, but camels have unique adaptations to protect themselves from these harsh conditions. Their nostrils can close to block sand, and their long eyelashes act as natural shields against the relentless gusts of sand. Camels also utilize their thick eyelashes to trap and deflect blowing sand particles. If any sand manages to slip past their lashes, they can deploy a special third eyelid, known as the nictitating membrane. This membrane sweeps across their eye for added protection while still allowing them to see clearly. Camels can equally close their nostrils and keep sand from entering their respiratory system while still being able to breathe. These natural defenses enable them to adapt to the harshest conditions the desert has to offer. As if enduring severe sandstorms and going weeks without water weren't impressive enough, camels possess another unique adaptation that helps them thrive in the desert, the fat hump on their back. But what purpose does it serve, and why is it considered an important survival tool? Let's find out. You might wonder why camels have such large humps on their backs and what they contain. Well, there are two main species of camels, both defined by their distinctive humps. There is the dromedary, a one-humped camel native to the Middle East and Africa. Then there is Bactrian, which has two humps and is commonly found in Central Asia. One popular misconception about camels is that they store water in their humps, but that's simply not true. In fact, Humps are actually made of stored fats, not water. This fat reserve allows camels to survive for long periods without food as they can convert the stored fat into energy when needed. Sometimes a camel's hump may appear droopy or deflated. This occurs when the fat stored in the hump is depleted after the camel goes without food for an extended period. Once the camel has the opportunity to eat and replenish its resources, the hump returns to its upright position. This fat storage is crucial for camels, allowing them to survive and endure long journeys through deserts where food and water are scarce. The hump serves as an energy reserve, sustaining them for days when resources are limited. Moreover, they serve as a valuable companion to humans in desert communities, providing transportation, resources, and support. Camels typically live in herds led by a dominant male, displaying a well-defined social structure and hierarchy. Living in groups allows them to form close bonds and collaborate in searching for scarce resources like food and water, highlighting their impressive social intelligence and survival strategies. Camels can live for 30 to 50 years in the wild, and some in captivity can reach up to 60. Despite their intelligence, they are obedient animals that have long assisted humans and nomads in desert regions. Known as the ships of the desert, camels are essential for transporting heavy loads across sandy terrain. They also provide valuable resources including food, milk, and materials for shelter. In places like Somalia and the Arabian Peninsula, camels are raised specifically for their milk, 
which is easier to digest than cow's milk and serves as a dietary staple. This milk can be turned into yogurt, cheese, and butter, offering vital food options in areas with limited farming. Their meat serves as an important source of protein as well. But have you ever wondered what happens when a camel dies in the intense heat of the desert? Did you know that a dead camel can pose an unusual risk in the desert? Due to the extreme heat and natural decomposition process, harmful gases can build up within the animal's body. If this gas accumulates to a certain point, it can cause the carcass to explode. This is why it's super important to exercise caution around camel carcasses, especially in hot weather. Although such explosions are rare, there have been recorded incidents where the buildup of gases has exploded near humans, resulting in serious injuries to their skin. No doubt, camels are fascinating creatures with remarkable adaptations for desert life. Their unique features, complex social behaviors, and surprising abilities reveal that they are resilient animals, much more than mere wanderers of the desert. So the next time you encounter a camel, remember that there is far more to these ships of the desert than meets the eye. Stay curious and you never know what other amazing animals are out there waiting to be discovered.